Is something on your mind, Elise? Has some rugged, handsome young man caught your eye? Like your brother, perhaps? Please, your highness. Hmm, I just thought I saw someone I recognized. But it couldn't possibly have been him. I can't imagine what would bring him to the capital this early in the morning. Someone you recognized? Hmm, I wonder... <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't deny it. That your brother is handsome, I mean. <laughs> Please! <sighs> I knew that I shouldn't have told you about him. Oh, come now, I'm only teasing. There's no need to sulk. I'll give you a little something from Mariage Cross to make up for it. But that's an adult lingerie brand. <laughs> Please excuse us, Captain Claire. I'm sorry. I hope I haven't sullied your ears with our scandalous conversation. <laughs> Not at all, Your Highness. I came to inform you that the special train to the Imperial Villa will be arriving shortly. I look forward to accompanying you today. <laughs> It'll be a pleasure to have you with us. Certainly. a part of the donation to your tuition. I don't think you'll need to worry about anything through graduation. Oh, thank you so much! I don't know how I could ever repay you, President Elise. <laughs> this is all just part of my job as student council president. Besides, there are other students in the same situation as you. So don't worry about it at all, okay? <laughs> well then, would you care for some tea and cookies? I just recently received some as gifts. He doesn't seem to be very fond of being called a hero. Dear, did I interrupt something? Please, we both know you did that on purpose. <laughs> well, you seemed to be troubled when she mentioned Reen. You should have simply told her. Reen's special someone was already decided 14 years ago. Or something like that. Ugh. You're always saying such silly things. There are rumors going around about you as well, your highness. A secret rendezvous with the Ashen Chevalier in the Imperial Palace. 
Promises made for the summer festival, or something like that. We were just talking about you at the ceremony after the Northern War. And, um, I asked him for a bit of advice too, but... Gosh, you certainly have gotten tough, Elise. Since you took on the role of student council president, you don't crack nearly as easily. At this point, the students and teachers alike are relying on you. <laughs> well, since my brother's become so famous, I need to make sure to try my hardest too. But even so, there are times when I'm made aware of how little I can actually do. For example, I couldn't do a thing to help her. It was out of your hands to begin with. It wasn't a question of finances. I hope she's doing well. Though it worries me that she hasn't replied yet. Indeed. In addition, the way the Vander family and poor Oliver have been treated lately? It's nothing but sad news. I heard there was an incident during the branch campus's field exercises. Reen was there, right? Yes, in Sutherland. It seems there were some suspicious things happening there. He sent me a message telling me to be careful. I see. How thoughtful of him. Compared to him, Cedric is... Uh, I haven't a clue. Your Highness... Oh yes, I drifted off the main topic. In regards to that thing I mentioned before, do you think you would be available for it? Yes, the Student Council's projects will be finished on schedule. So I would love to join you. Push the order for the new devices up on the schedule. If you need to, combine both versions in one shipment. Evaluate it by cost, usability, performance, and security. The Railroad Corporation's operating system has been delivered, right? Go and attend their tests. Make sure they understand the additional services we offer for it. Reinford, what is it? Oh, yes, I'll be right there. That's it for the meeting. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for waiting. It's good to speak with you again. Yeah, thanks. I received the operation report. It seems like the Argus 2 is working out well. Yes, thankfully. The master and subcourt system is working out especially nicely. On top of that, the long distance communication is even better than I expected. That kind of thing's a bit iffy without signal boosting facilities. Did RF set up a bunch or something? Well, actually, we used a little trick. I'll tell you about it the next time we meet in person. Outside work hours, if we can manage it. I see. I'll have something to talk with you about as well. I'll be looking forward to it, Miss General Manager Elisa Reinberg. Likewise, Chief Teal Plato. I'm happy to see her, but I need to do something about this never-ending schedule of mine.
pardon me, my lady. Oh, come in! I've brought you some tea and cookies. Oh dear, it's already three? Thanks, Sharon. Stay and have a cup with me. Oh, and for everyone out there, <laughs> I have already provided them with coffee and snacks. Ah, oh, I feel alive again. Seriously, Sharon, your tea and snacks are like an oasis in the desert of my workday. My, my. It's good to work hard, but make sure you get proper rest, my lady. Perhaps you should call up the other members of Class 7 on occasion. I'm sorry for making you worry. <laughs> but it won't be that much longer before I get to see... Oh my, I suppose I didn't need to mention it after all. Now that I think of it, you were speaking with Lady Fee and Lady Laura just the other day. Uh, if you already knew that, then why bother bringing it up? Ugh, whatever. What about you, though? I haven't seen you around lately. It seems like you've been busy helping Mother. Or does it have something to do with your past? <laughs> oh my, no. Of course not. The past is in the past. My love and loyalty will not change because of it. So please, do not worry. Well, something's off. She's being unusually kind and making me reminisce about... It's them! <laughs> Hello? You're free now, right? Yeah, I'm good. Work's going well, so no fires to put out right now. All right, you two. Let's get started. Yes, that's right. I plan on leaving after I've taken care of some unfinished business here. <laughs> I'll see you there then. <sighs> if I had been a bit faster, we could have been able to meet here. <laughs> Just a little longer. Well, aren't you happy? humans sure come up with some interesting ideas. Like using that communication artifact the Prince had hidden away as a relay for your network. It seems like that bracer with all the tricks up his sleeve had something to do with it too. <laughs> and don't forget all the support Elisa lent us too. It's thanks to all the help we get from so many different people that we're able to keep going. Mm, I don't know about that. Our kin are supposed to be hidden away guarding our sacrament by ourselves. But anyway, seems like some weird things are starting to happen to him. Not being able to come back out of his powered up form, that's not normal. Yes, I hope our spells are able to help him. But before that, we need to take care of this. This is the only shrine in this region. Give me a hand, Celine. Leave it to me, Emma.
right, ladies? Let's make sure we follow the recipe. The right ingredients and the right timing are both crucial to making sweets. If you know your way around a kitchen, then I welcome you to help beginners. Yes! yes! You've grown taller, haven't you? To be frank, I nearly didn't recognize you at first. <laughs> you too, Laura. Hey there! Didn't realize you were in here. <laughs> 